Look at us. Just, Just look, look at, at us. us. We're sitting here. We're home vlogging. Home vlog. One day, you'll catch me. <laughs> like, I, I get into like fooling you every time now. I feel like you do it on purpose though. Like I keep well, thinking. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm trying to like trying to get you to like. I'm faking you out. No. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah. Next time. Next time. So we got a, a couple things that we're gonna do today. We're gonna mm -hmm. go to the store. Mm -hmm. Good times. Wanted to talk to you guys about a charity event that's coming up that we're gonna do. Yeah, we've been doing so. It's a little bit later. It's like two o'clock right now, but we've been doing some like planning for some cool, really cool stuff that we have coming up. Really cool. Yeah. So one of the things that we have coming up is we're doing a charity event mm -hmm. where it is the Amazing Race Orlando and it yeah. is benefiting Give Kids the World, one of our favorite charities. Yeah. So we recently did like a fundraising event with them where we were able to raise enough money to grant three wishes, Yeah. which was so exciting. So we just wanted to say thank you guys so much again for like the amazing response for the last fundraiser that we did. Yeah. So thank you. So now... We are being tasked with raising $2,500 for my team, which is going to compete in the Amazing Race Orlando, where we race all around Orlando, competing in like physical activity mm -hmm. and mental activity. Like puzzles. Puzzles. And, and like thrilling events. Yeah, I signed a waiver that's like, are you okay traveling by planes, trains, automobiles, animals? And I'm like, wow. That sounds exciting. It does. So I'm really excited. So I'm actually not going to be a part of it. You're going to be a part of it with our friend Jeff, mm -hmm. which you guys are going to have an awesome time. I don't think that I could do the like scary stuff. Yeah. Because some of it involves like heights and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to stay home with Jackson and yeah. then maybe we'll come out and cheer for you guys at the end. Yeah. So this brings us to the fundraising aspect of it. Like I said, we've been tasked with raising $2,500 mm -hmm. and uh, we've actually already donated the $2,500. So we've met our goal, mm -hmm. but... The team that raises the most money mm -hmm. gets an immunity, and it's called the the U-turn immunity or oh. the no U-turn immunity. It was something like that. It'll, but it'll help you guys out. Yeah, like, we don't know what it does yet, though. Okay. Well, it's got to be good. It's got to be good. It's an immunity of some yeah. sort. <laughs> and so I'm kind of hoping that you guys will help us raising the most money out of any of the teams yeah. to be able to get this immunity. So we'll leave the link down below. Again, we have already donated the twenty five hundred dollars to cover the like base fundraising portion right. but if you guys wanted to help us raise more that would be amazing yeah amazing race oh that <laughs> so was we'll, good we'll put that down below if you guys want to check it out give kids the world is an amazing charity and we're just really happy to be a part of this so if you guys don't know what give kids the world is we'll put a link in the description down below to a video where we visited give kids the world yeah we did like a full tour we talked about all the um just wonderful things that they do for the community and wonderful like things that they do for people in need and if you guys want to check that out that would be awesome yeah yeah so let's go to the store though. We need to do some grocery stuff. Okay, we're at the store and we don't have enough room in the car to bring the stroller. So we got him in the carrier. Angry boy in the carrier. <laughs> Let me see his face. <gasps> you're not angry. You're just trying to find your hand. He's trying to go to sleep is what he's trying to do. I bet he'll go to sleep easy. Oh, Pepsi Zero Sugar is my favorite Super Bowl team. They're gonna win. As a side note, Petunia Picklebottom did send us a diaper bag for us to try out. So far, it is pretty awesome. And did you see the print? The print's so cute. Yeah, it's cool. It's like rose gold Mickey almost, or like bell of the ball bronze. Oh my goodness, these Oreos sound like they would be so good. What is this one? Oh, peppermint. Oh yeah. And carrot cake? Ooh, interesting. This sounds really good. You guys, I found him. The perfect man. He is sweet and decadently rich, just how a man ought to be. You're magical. Oh yeah, you're magical. Unicorn candy. What are these? Oh, I thought they were special. They're not. They're just little. <laughs> oh, I love all the candy. Oh my gosh, I want candy so bad right now. Oh yeah. What the heck? What are you doing to me, Publix? I found the perfect man. Oh no, he's a little guy. He's a guy. <laughs> oh, it's like you and Jackson. Oh yeah. There you go. Oh no, look at these little like underpants these guys. Not so good. Oh, no. Name a better 2020 calendar actually, than yoga dogs. Do you remember when Jen and Daryl sent us this? Yeah. We got it. It was it was it yoga goats or yoga dogs? It was yoga goats. Was it? Yeah. That might have been a better one. It may have been this one. I think it was. I think it was goats and trees. Look at those goats and trees. Just look at them. Oh. 
All right, we're all done with the shopping and this little babe slept the whole entire time. He did really good. Somebody was upset for a little bit, then he got some lunch and now he's okay. So we went into PetSmart over there and we got some clippers so we can shave the baby bean. And now we're gonna go to TJ Maxx. We're gonna go get some deals, huh, little bud? Yeah. Oh he no, goes, Ugh. I know. All right, quick everybody. Without looking at the tag, what is this? <laughs> Leave it in the comments down below. We couldn't figure it out. We know now, but what do you guys think it is? Oh no, you guys are seeing the tag. Oh no. Oh no. This right here, this is my aisle. I need ceramic elephants, ceramic, I, I couldn't remember what this was called. It's a rabbit. <laughs> I need an I alarm like clock, peace a peace sign, an a monkey. Upside down, oh, I thought this was supposed to be like an upside down uh, light bulb. Wine glass? Oh, okay. <laughs> this this rock with a, for the, price tag on it what is it oh it's, it's a geode it's a little geode but he's having none of your dad jokes i know i'm sorry <laughs> what the heck what do you think i need a usb salt lamp he's not very funny is he i am funny sometimes if anybody's looking for a pair of size 20 adidas they're in the clearance section wow. just so you guys know i wear a size 12. oh my gosh look at that that is ridiculous there's two pairs we also saw these really cute dog toys. This one is supposed to look like a Lay's potato chip. And this one I think is supposed to look like a Ruffles potato chip. But how cute are these? I didn't find what I was actually looking for here, um, which was like home goods, but we did find size 20 shoes. All right, we got some cool stuff from TJ Maxx. Oh yeah, we got a belt and- uh, A dog towel? A dog towel and some hand lotion for my hands. Yeah. We'll show you the haul when we get home. We're back home and Jen's finishing up editing the video and I'm hanging out with Jackson. Yeah, this is what we do. This. And sometimes he laughs and other time he just gives me that blank wide-eyed stare. So a little bit of time has passed since we last recorded and that was taken up by you were editing mm -hmm. and I was watching Jackson. Well, Jackson was like having a meltdown. Yeah. He was, I think he was just really tired but also he didn't want to be tired. Right. But he was tired. <laughs> so we've been trying something a little bit new and that is like when we think he's tired, we kind of like do a little like playing with him. Well, like, like we'll lay him down and we'll kind of like, like I don't know. Play peekaboo. Yeah, like talk like, to him. Yeah. And rather than trying to immediately put him to sleep because we notice that sometimes he just wants interaction. Like we interact with him all the time, but he wants like playful yeah and i don't know how to explain it but yeah. we've been we've been doing that instead of like immediately trying to put him to sleep sometimes it works and sometimes it does not work yeah sometimes he's just tired yeah and we think that maybe by doing that he got like real tired tonight yeah i think he definitely was overtired. so like a switch hit and he just like was crying yeah he was like yelling yeah. and like I need to go to sleep now. And so I think like, I don't know if we'll ever actually figure out the difference. Right. You know what I mean? Like there are times where I feel like we get it. We know all of his like cues. We know what all of his cries mean. We know exactly what to do. And then there are times where I'm like, what are we doing? We don't know what we're doing. What's, yeah, like, what's, why? Hap yeah. what's happening? <laughs> yeah. And so tonight it was that he was very tired. Mm -hmm. And the way that we get him to fall asleep is I walk him around. Yeah. He just likes the motion of like being like walking. Yeah. And so I walked him so much that my watch went off and it was like, would you like to record this workout? And I'm like, dang, that's a lot of walking. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So, oh, another thing, uh, the Give Kids the World fundraiser. Oh yeah. We announced it on Instagram stories. Like what? Three hours ago? Four, something like yeah, that. Yeah. Like four, three or four hours ago. Yeah. And we are already up around $7,000, like over $7,000. Yeah. And we are in first place, but the second place team is like trying us. They're like trying to catch up. All of the donations go to Give Kids the World, which again is a charity that we just love and uh, we'll always continue to donate to them. They do really great stuff. So Yeah, but because it is so late, we still have not eaten dinner yet. No, we're going to make dinner and we're going to make something kind of like, do you remember that show on the Food Channel, the Food Network that was like semi-homemade where she would... Is that what it was called? Semi-homemade? I think so, because she would take something that was like made, but then she would like add her own flair to it. So I think we're gonna try to do that, like semi-home make something. So we bought some meatballs. Well, here, we'll show you. All right, so what do we got here? So these are some seasoned meatballs. They're ready to cook. They're all ready to go, but we're gonna make them even better by adding 
some mozzarella cheese in the middle. So I'm going to cut these up. I think what we're going to do is cut them up into like thirds. Okay. So we're going to do mozzarella stuffed meatballs. That sounds good. Yeah. And we're just going to eat meatballs. No, with the, <laughs> we're going to have spaghetti and meatballs. That's some cheese cut in action right there. I think these might be too big. What do you think? Oh, I don't know. That sounds awesome though. <laughs> I don't want it to come out the sides. Oh, it will, no okay. matter what. Well, let's see. So we're going to take one. And then... One meatball. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I'll take my littlest one here. I think I might have to make them smaller. Oh, this looks I, awesome. I wanted to put it in and just like form it around it, you know? Oh yeah, it's kind of working, right? It might be too big. Oh no, I want big meatballs. No, I mean like the cheese might be too big. Like I don't want it to come out while it's cooking. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Are we making like logs? I think we might have to make... They're not you know, meatballs anymore. They're, they're like meat be logs. meat barrels. You know how meat like, barrels. You know how like at Disney World they call them potato barrels instead of tater tots? Yeah. These are going to be meat barrels instead of meatballs. Meat barrels is my new uh, meatloaf cover band. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, I love it. This looks awesome. I want to eat this. Well, I mean, once it's cooked. You are going to eat it. But I mean, like, yeah, I'm excited for it. Okay. See if you can see where we decided to cut the string cheese into fours instead of threes. Yeah, so we started out with meat barrels, and then we realized that the pieces of cheese were just too big. So I would say cut your string cheese into fourths and just do meatballs. Yeah. And now we're going to put them in this pan and fry them up. Ooh, look at that sweet pan footage. I like it. This looks so good. So we're going to pop them in the pan with a two tablespoons of oil and cook them for about 25 minutes, kind of like trying to sear up all of the sides. Now that our meat barrels and meat balls are cooking, we also got some water getting ready to boil so that we can cook up some Rotel. And then we're going to use this sauce. We're going to go like extra cheesy. Oh yeah. This is going to be delish. I think it's going to be worth the wait. Because oh, it's yeah. like, we're not going to eat until like 9 o'clock. Oh, even better. I know. Oh no, one of them already has some cheese leaking out. I think it's going to be delicious. Hopefully the cheese will like, you know, firm up and like hold it. Oh it, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like, like when you... Like burnt cheese. No, like, you know when you have like a... What do you call that? Like, like when you cauterize something. Oh, okay. Yeah, right? Is that the right word? Yeah, that's... For the next time that if I, if I, if I ever have to go to the hospital, I hope they use cheese to cauterize my wounds. <laughs> Me too. So you guys know that little kitchen hack that everybody's like, oh, if it's you're cooking pasta, just put like a spoon over top of it and it won't overflow. That is a lie. It does not work. <laughs> well, also, who's a member of the like, I don't know how much pasta to use club? Everybody. Because I feel like, right? Like, how do you know how much pasta to use? Because like the amount that they tell you to use looks so small. But it's always, I don't know, we always use too much. Yeah, we did uh, two, two cups, cups. But then you were like, we'll throw some more in. We'll just throw some more in. Yeah, just throw in like a couple more pieces. Also, all of our meatballs, the cheese is coming out of all of them. And it looks delicious. I think it's going to be really good, but how do you keep your cheese inside your meatballs? You don't. What the heck? Gotta let it be oozy. Now that's what I'm talking about. Oh no, all the cheese is coming out. Oh no, this looks so awesome. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. So much cheese everywhere. This is my jam. Now I'm going to take them out though and I'm going to dump the oil out of this pan and then we're going to cook the meatballs in the sauce. Yes. And then we're just going to kind of like roll them around in the sauce. Give them yes. a little sauce bath. Sauce bath. And then we put this over the nudes and we're good. Over the noodles. Oh my gosh, that was something that somebody mentioned. Actually, a few people mentioned. When you're eating Italian pasta, you don't call it noodles, you call it pasta. Pasta is different than noodles. Oh. Yeah, I didn't know that. So when we went to Terralina, I'll link that video down below, but we call I call them noodles, I think. And it's pasta when they're Italian. It's only noodles when it's like an Asian dish. Why? Because they're made differently. They're made of different ingredients. Oh. So I read those comments and sorry, I did not know that. Well, that's interesting. Yes, we're having pasta. We're heading down to Meatball City tonight. The cheesiest meatballs ever. They're so big. Yes. Like, Look at that one, like split open. Cheese is pouring out of it. I know. I feel like we needed to make the cheese a little bit smaller. Psh. You don't think? No, I think this is going to be good. You like the sauce? I do. Uh -oh. oh, perfect timing. All right, let's see how they look when you cut into them. Whoa. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, it does. We'll definitely be making these again. Oh, excellent. In case you guys are wondering what I do every morning, 
I sit down here with Jackson and we talk to each other and we laugh and we giggle and we smile. Right, Jackson? Yeah. And I try to get him to go, Mama, Dad, Dad, 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 Mama, Dad, Dad. Woo. Yeah. Show me that smile. Oh no, big yawn. You having a good time? Maybe? Having an in-between time? Not really sure what's going on? What is it? Who is this little baby? It's Jackson, the littlest baby in this house. Or sometimes I just lay him down next to me like this, and I tickle his little belly, and I tickle his little armpits, and I tickle his little chest, and I tickle his little belly, and I tickle his little chin, and I tickle his little cheeks, and then I tickle his little belly. Yeah. Who's that little smiley boy? Who's that little smiley boy? Is it Jackson? Yeah. That's the little smiley boy. Are you the little smiley boy bandit? He's like, I'm a smiley boy. Don't forget about me being smiley. Who's this little smiley Jackson? Who's this little smiley Jackson? Yeah, there he is. There's that little smiley Jackson. He also likes to like stick his tongue out every once in a while. And some people were saying that that's a a sign of hunger, but he literally just ate. So I think it's just, and he's like doing this little like smiley laughy thing. So I think it's just him playing around with his tongue. Right, Jackson? He's sticking your tongue out? Going, Pfft. yeah, the little baby Jackson. Who's that little baby Jackson? Who's that little baby Jackson? Yeah. Oh, are you talking to us? What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? So it's the next day. Yeah, good times. Good Sorry. times. We keep, I feel like we keep doing this because we keep having... The end of the day is really hard for us. Yeah. Well, it's really hard for Jackson, I think, which makes it hard for us. Right. So we are not good at vlogging all the way to the end of the night like we used to. Right. So it's the next day. It'll be a two-day <laughs> vlog. Yeah. We're going to go get some lunch now. Oh, but we really loved our dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Did Let's you... Up. Well, but we I think it hurt your stomach. I don't know if it did. I, like, woke up in the middle of the night and I was like, something's going on with my tum-tum. <laughs> Uh, by the way, our tree is still up. We're waiting to take a photo with Jackson oh. in front of the Christmas tree. <laughs> Maybe we can do that today. Yeah. Okay. Um, but, in the, yeah, it hurt my stomach a little bit, but it didn't hurt your stomach. No. So I was thinking maybe it was just something else. Maybe it was. But it was delicious. It was really good. I, I really liked it. It was very easy to make. So if it's something that you guys are looking for, like, you want to have spaghetti and meatballs, but you want to make it, like, a little bit different, I would try it. Yeah. Yeah, it was, like... A lot of cheese. <laughs> it was a lot of cheese. <laughs> but it was good. Yeah, so now we're going to go eat more cheese. Oh yeah, we are. At Tijuana Flats. Okay, we're here. We're here at Tijuana Flats and the baby is in the best seat. Let me ask you this. What? Now that you've had a chance to be out and about with the new diaper bag, what do you think of it? Oh, I like it so much better. I think it fits more stuff, which is what we needed. We were like jam packing the other one too tight. And it's wider. It's the same height, but it's wider. So we can fit more stuff. And it has um, a spot for drinks on the side. And it has Mickey all over it. But it is heavier. Oh, it's for sure heavier because we're putting more stuff in it. And we haven't tried out the changing pad yet. I think we did, didn't we? No. Oh, we didn't? Uh, you never know. We might have to do that today. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I got my Tijuana chicken chimichanga. Delish. Mm. Jen got her double stack tacos. These are so good. And these are my favorite. They're called Atom Bombs. <laughs> they're just like jalapeno poppers. Yeah, they're like fresh jalapeno though. Has like fresh jalapeno inside. So good. Mr. Jackson is asleep. He pooped right out, right at the table here. I just, I know I say this every time, but I just love how peaceful he looks when he sleeps. He's like the most peaceful looking baby. I think that noise machine that we have too, this little portable noise machine down here, is like one of the best things we ever bought. It really, really helps. So the morning got away from us. We, uh, we were like just doing stuff and doing stuff and then we realized, oh, we need to eat. Well, we had to do some like non-vloggy stuff, like stuff that we couldn't share with the video that we're just like, it would really honestly have been boring to see anyway. Right. So, so we just did that and then we're like, oh my gosh, where did the day go? And then the baby was having like little mini meltdowns. So we were, he did actually really well while we were out. And then when we got in the car, he was like not happy again. Yeah. So we're still kind of trying to figure out what he does and doesn't like. Right. I don't know if we'll ever figure it out. I don't, well, maybe we will. <laughs> 
I'd like to think that we will. When he can talk, then he can right. tell us what he does and doesn't like. He's That's like, I don't like this. And we're like, oh, well, now you tell us. <laughs> right. So, um, so now, yeah, it's like nine o'clock. But we wanted to show you guys what we got at TJ Maxx yesterday because we never showed you. And we right. got some... I don't know, stuff that's probably not really exciting, but I think is exciting. I think it's exciting. What'd you get? I got my O'Keefe's uh, lotion. I use the working hand stuff. But he uses the balm. It's like a... Like a like a tub. Yeah, it almost looks like chapstick to me. Yeah, it's kind of like... To me, it reminds me of like a drywall spackle. Oh. And like... But it works so well. It does. It's the best like lotion I've ever put on my hands. It's funny because we were talking about it in an old, like old, old vlog. And you guys were like, oh, you have to try this. And I'm like, I think we have that actually. Yeah. And it does work. So you guys are right. It works so well. It works well. And the reason that I'm using lotion is because it's wintertime here and it dries out slightly Yeah. in Florida. And my Floridian body is used to it being 98% humidity. Yeah. And it freaks out. It's like, oh my gosh. And my hands just start cracking and bleeding and all kinds of other fun stuff. It's really, yeah, it's really nuts how your skin like reacts. It's crazy. Yeah. So. But this has like a lip one and it has like the lotion version of the dry drywall spackle one. Yeah. And then it has like a body one. Yeah, skin repair. Yeah, and it's so cheap because it was from TJ Maxx. Yeah. So I got this for Bandit because we're going to bathe him and um groom him and i just thought this would be like a good this is like one of those like sham wow things oh yeah but like for dogs the microfiber and it says the towel that gives your dog a massage every time i don't understand how i don't either i think i give the massage and the towel is just in between <laughs> yeah that was not really putting in any work here no i was like what the heck so yeah this was like six bucks and i'm like i'm gonna get this and i also got a new belt this was like five dollars and it's columbia which is, is it really? Yeah, it's a Columbia brand belt. Wow. Like real leather, all that other good stuff. That's pretty nuts. It's a pretty nice belt. I feel like TJ Maxx is the place. Yeah. We also got, because we went to PetSmart, we got a grooming set for Bandit because I need to groom him. Yeah. We had him groomed. We had a lady come and groom him like a, a person that comes to your house in like a van. Oh, like a mobile groomer. Yeah, there you go. That's what it is. And she did not enjoy grooming bandit right she did a really good job but she was like i it was hard she said it was really hard she said well it's because of his face he like does this yeah, a lot and just, she didn't want to poke him well and she go i go so would you groom him again and she's like i don't think so <laughs> so i was like well i'll get one of these and maybe i'll just try to groom him maybe yeah. maybe he'll do better with me so we got this so i'm gonna groom him in a future video or maybe i won't do it in a video maybe i'll just save that for us yeah, but, um, we'll see what happens. And then we're going to use our new towel. And he's yeah. going to get a massage every time. Yeah, so I don't know. That was our exciting TJ Maxx haul. Well, I would say that we definitely had a good couple of days. I think so. We yeah. had we got a lot of stuff done. We didn't use our time as wisely as we should have. Nope. But we still did get a lot of stuff done. And we're still trying to figure out the timing of the baby. I think that's yeah. the hardest part is trying to figure out matching the schedule that he's providing us yeah. with our own schedule. It's, we're trying to like bring him out and just kind of get him acclimated to like how we, like our life basically, just like when we need to go out, we go out. When we need to go grocery shopping, we do that. You know what I mean? Like we're not stopping the things that we're doing. Right. But sometimes we do have to alter our schedule. Right. But I feel like that's like he's two months now or he's very close to two months. He'll, he'll be two he's months tomorrow. Two months. No, he, two months is on the 29th. Oh. Remember how we talked about this? He's eight weeks, but he's not oh, two months. Not two months. Yeah, gotcha. you guys you guys explained that to us. Um, but so he's very close to being two months old. Yeah. And I think it's definitely a lot easier now than it was like even a month ago. Right. So we're definitely, I don't know. It is getting easier, but it's still hard, if that yeah. makes sense. Well, that's what everybody says. It's the hardest, most rewarding thing you'll ever do. Oh, and it definitely is. So, yeah. Yeah. But I think it's time that we go to bed now. Yes, because he's sleeping and we need to sleep when he sleeps. Right. So, with that being said, we are off and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And, and now, now it's time, time to pay, pay the, the price. price.